Hi guys, it's Ed Barton, the Social Anxiety Coach again here. And today I wanna to bring you a somewhat controversial message about EFT tapping. So my name is Ed Barton. If you haven't seen any of my videos before, welcome to the channel. I used to be a chronic sufferer of social anxiety disorder for more than 20 years. I've now overcome it and I coach other people to do the same thing. So as you probably know, EFT tapping is also known as an emotional freedom technique and it involves tapping yourself on different so-called meridians or nerve points on the body and repeating certain things like, I am lovable, I can be socially confident, okay? And this is bullshit, it's a scam. I have tried everything, including EFT, over the more than 20 years that I was suffering with social anxiety and none of it worked, okay? Hypnosis didn't work, taking magnesium, zinc, all these different supplements, doing acupuncture. I spent an absolute fortune on all of this stuff. And I've held back on this message for a long time. I, I said that I wasn't gonna attack different therapies and different methodologies, but I actually feel really bad for people because I see so many people on the internet going down the wrong path, wasting time and money, and I believe people that are teaching this stuff are basically just capitalizing on the fact that when you have social anxiety disorder, you're so desperate you'll try anything once, whether it be you know, $150 for an acupuncture session, doing this and saying, I am happy, I am free, okay? It's a scam and it's bullshit. And any benefits that you think that you're getting from doing this and saying that you're lovable, that you're worthy of success, you're not socially anxious, etc., etc., is a placebo effect, okay? I had social anxiety really, really bad, and it was related to very, very deep-rooted things, messages from my childhood, the way I was psychologically abused by my mother, the fact that I had no self-esteem. All of these things that were rooted in my past that really happened between the age of five and 10. And doing this, saying, I am confident, I am confident, I am happy. I'm sorry, it's a joke. I overcame social anxiety and it took a lot of hard work, like anything worth having in life it doesn't come easily. It, it requires hard work. That's the difficult message that people probably don't want to hear. A lot of people in this world want to believe in law of attraction and magic and all of these things. If I think about winning the lottery, I'm going to win the lottery. No, if you want a million dollars, go out and work hard for it. Add value to the world, be an expert in something, and you, you can do that. The same with social anxiety. If you want to overcome it, start getting up early, start setting goals, start eating right, start sleeping right. Start pushing yourself out of your comfort zone. Start analyzing your inner thought patterns, rewiring your faulty mental circuitry. This is what it requires, and it requires hard work. It's not easy, it's dirty, messy, nasty work sometimes, but that's how you get results. I've now created my ideal lifestyle, and it all started with overcoming social anxiety. I now live here in Bali. I've been out this morning surfing. I always had this dream that I would surf every day, I'd be in good shape, I would be feeling good, be out in the sunshine. And I made that happen and it all started with overcoming social anxiety. When I was like 32, 33, I started taking action. And because I overcame social anxiety, it allowed all of these other things to follow on. But none of that happened through sitting down and tapping myself on my head going, I want to live in Bali, I want to be a surfer. I had to set up my own business, which happened because I overcame social anxiety. I left my shitty job. I left all of those things that were draining my self-esteem even more. I started rebuilding my reality completely. Then I learned to surf, and I didn't learn to surf by tapping myself on my head going, I want to be a surfer. I had to go out and nearly drown a few times. I had to paddle hard through waves. And that is a good metaphor for what overcoming social anxiety is like. You've got to paddle hard. You've got to take some falls. So my message today is a really simple one and possibly a controversial one. I know a lot of people aren't going to like it and I'm glad about that because some of this stuff out there, it needs calling out. There's so many people talking absolute bullshit about social anxiety and it's not fair on people that fall for it, that waste time and money going down the wrong route. If you want my opinion, if you want to overcome social anxiety as I did, you need to get your lifestyle in order, okay? You need to stop the carbohydrates, stop the sugar binges, stop all the comfort eating. You need to exercise, get your sleep together, get hydrated, so get your lifestyle in order. Then you need to start rewiring all these faulty circuitry you've got, all these 
ingrained negative and limiting beliefs that you're running from your childhood. You're fat, you're stupid, you're ugly, you're boring, you're a burden to people, no one wants to know you. You've got friends, but they just tolerate you out of sympathy. All of these things, you've, these are cognitive distortions, maladaptive thinking patterns. You've got to dig into them. You've got to change your inner world, your self-concept and how you view yourself. Because when that changes and expands, your whole external reality changes as well. Once you've done that, you need to go out and practice it in the world. You need to make behavioral changes. You need to go to the supermarket, look at the cashier in the eyes, practice saying hello to people, practice saying good morning. This is how it happens. It might take one year, it might take two, might take three, might take a bit more. But what is that in the long scheme of things when you've suffered in agony since you were a child or for decades and decades as I had? So that's my message today. EFT tapping and all this other stuff, hypnosis tracks, all these quick fixes, there are no magic bullets, okay? It takes hard work. So the sooner you get started on it, the better. I hope this video has been of use to you. Please subscribe to the channel and please check out some of our other videos to help the channel grow so we can reach more people and help them overcome social anxiety. And I'll see you guys all in the next one.